In this week's video, I'm taking you along to MemoQ Fest 2022. Coming up. Hello and welcome back to the Freelance Verse and welcome to beautiful Budapest. MemoQ Fest is an annual conference organized by MemoQ and this year actually was the first time that it was taking place in the Marriott Hotel. Uh, MemoQ's fest grew so much that they had to relocate and this was really the perfect location in my opinion. Uh, beautiful location, very nice, inviting for all the guests. The first day was actually the pre-conference day, the Wednesday. Uh, there were workshops from 9 to 7, so basically all day. There were many different workshops and you had f four slots per person. You could choose uh, from topics among uh, the ones you see on screen using MemoQ for video localization, uh, regex files, really interesting things to choose from. So it is currently Wednesday when I'm filming this, the day of the pre-conference, and it's actually already 1 p.m. when I arrived here at the hotel. I just arrived a few minutes ago, uh, so I did miss the morning, but that's fine. I, I have some sessions planned for the afternoon. I think I have a session at 2 p.m. around about machine translation and one at 4 p.m. about audiovisual localization. So I'm assuming something sub subtitling related. Uh, so I'm very excited for these, but of course also today is more about exploring and see what the venue is like. And I'm very excited to meet a lot of people. So I have to prepare a bit and then let's head to the venue. See you there. So I have just checked in and I got this very nice uh, sustainable bag with, with a filled with a few goodies and especially filled with this amazing uh, uh, booklet. I don't know if you can see it like this. Really nicely designed, beautiful picture of Budapest and then the program of every day is on here. So very excited for that. And I also got this cool batch with my name on it. So the first masterclass I attended was led by Jolt Varga about machine translation plugins in MemoQ. In the clip that I filmed here, he explains which MT plugin is the best in his opinion. The results. The problem is, it takes almost forever, you need to check the number of uh, language combinations, fields of expertise, so by the time you finish it, and you establish a list, <laughs> the whole empty world goes upside down, and then uh, you can start uh, from scratch again. Someone who wants to decide which empty is the best for them, you either have to invest heavily time, money, and expertise, just on like the custom models, or you can ask the, the experts. I have just made it home to the hotel. I've never filmed like this with a selfie stick. Let me see if you can actually see me. Oh, let me take off this first of all. Yeah, I think it works. That's quite cool. So I'm staying at the Alta Moda Fashion Hotel, if anyone is wondering. I can definitely recommend it. It's right on Vats, Utah. It's just uh, right in the city center. I don't know if you could see it. Uh, it's beautiful, beautiful weather. Um, I probably haven't gotten too much footage of the first day. Simply because, first of all, I arrived late, and second, because most of the people are just in sessions, right, uh, on the on the first day, on the workshop day. And tonight would actually be the first conference dinner, but I cannot attend it because I have another uh, thing, another uh, business dinner to attend to tonight. So, But tomorrow I will definitely join the whole day, and tomorrow night is a special surprise. It's kind of a gala dinner, so I'm very much looking forward to that. And in general, I will have much more footage. So I close day one here and I see you tomorrow with day two of the event, but day one of the actual official conference. See you then. Indeed, it was time for day one of the official conference program. Uh, it was starting at 9 a.m. with a nice welcome session from the MemoQ Fest. And then there were different keynote speakers. Uh, yeah, very interesting talks all the way until 12.30. Then there was a lunch uh, break and networking. Some really interesting talks. I, I appreciated them very much. I'm filming, the, I'm recording this voiceover after, so I've already seen all of them. Afternoon program, also very interesting, uh, especially the Define, Measure, Conquer, I liked a lot. And as you can see, the gala dinner is scheduled until 2 a.m., so I knew that, uh, that, that Thursday would be a long day. And so it was. And uh, Balash Kish, the co-CEO of MemoQ, would then open up the guy in the, in the pink shirt here. Uh, he will then open up the, the conference with a few very kind words. Did you look right? Okay, uh, so... 
I just hope this view that we are getting will not be too distracting. Because this is Mango Fest number 12. And uh, this is the first Mango Fest in this place, which is probably the best situated conference venue in the city, or even in the entire country. Jandor Papten also gave an introductional speech. He's the event organizer and he did a fantastic job. All together, including everyone, also the cooks here. Uh, and the menu, we have 260 people coming to this year's conference. All together, meaning Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then it was time for keynote speech number one by Alison Toon about seven translation management trends. I love this talk. She kind of framed it around the movie Blade Runner and it really made me want to watch the movie. So I think she was very engaging and did a fantastic job. Through advisory and consulting and it's totally independent. So if you want to know more about CSA, I'm here all today and tonight. Then it was time for relaxation again, out on the terrace over, overlooking the beautiful Danube and the, the Buddha castle, so really excellent venue location. Just enjoy the vibes. So the welcome session is over and also the first keynote, it was from Alison Toon about seven trends in translation management, super interesting, I really enjoyed it. And now I just came outside uh, to the beautiful Danube to get some shots out here. Uh, it's coffee break and soon I will go back in, there will be a speech from Marcus Ark, I think. Impress them with your KPIs. It already started, I'm a bit late, but I will still go in and see if I can catch the second half. And of course I take you along, I've already met so many nice people and someone even that watches my video was here and and came to me and said I really like the channel that was the first time ever so uh, super happy about that so uh, hope you enjoyed so far Indeed, the next talk was from Marcos Arc, and uh, it was quite technical, but it's very interesting. Uh, it's basically about how translation memories can be translated into numbers that the management can relate to, because in the end, it all comes down to numbers for management, mostly, right? There were some other talks after that I didn't, I didn't have time to attend, but I'm sure they were also great. And then it was time to fill up the bellies, look at everyone eating. And while people were eating, I took this opportunity to talk to some very nice and very important people of MemoQ. We are here with Peter Reynolds, co-CEO of MemoQ. Thanks so much for taking the time for this short interview. Thank How is you. it going so far? It, it's going great. There's been a lot of really good speakers. We've just heard Michael Sherbin talk about um, calculation leverage laws. Previously had Alison Toon speaking about trends in, uh, in, in translation technology. Yeah, the trends one I've seen as well, super interesting. So it's very nice that you have the spectrum of very highly technical talks, but then also more, you know, easygoing talks. So it was this kind of the goal to be more inclusive for everyone's interest? Yeah, what we want is a mixture of uh, people talking about how they're using MemoQ and how they're doing things with it. We also want talks and conversations about the industry and about trends in the industry, mm -hmm. about things that are of benefit and we're open to to, to anything like that. Like yeah. we've got I think 250 people here at least. Yeah. And it, it's a lively conference. It like definitely to... is, yeah, yeah. And very well organized, I must say. Thank you. Yeah. As you can see in a beautiful location with the event organizer, Shandor. Thanks so much for taking the time to come on for this short interview. Thank you so much for the opportunity. How is it going so far? Are you happy? Wonderful. Everything smoothly? Wonderful. Everything is smoothly, and it's great that we have almost 260 people coming to NanoQ Fest which we never expected, so um, everything is awesome. It really feels like very like a community, very familiar feeling. Is this kind of the goal you're trying to do with MemoQ Fest? Indeed it is. MemoQ has a great community behind it, and it is amazing to have this community together each and every year. And since we've been missing three years, if I'm not mistaken, everyone seems to be really happy to be together again. So, you know, it's a bit like an orchestra. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To, to put this together and make sure that everything is happening at the same time and yeah. in proper order. A lot of moving pieces. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Getting All pieces right. together. Anything you're looking forward to in particular? Memo Q Fest 2023. All even right, more All right. already Definitely. looking ahead. Yeah. <laughs> All exactly. right, thank you very much. Uh, I really like the Memo Q Fest. It's the first time I'm here and I, yeah, I've learned a lot of things I'm going to take home and make my colleagues do. Great, thank you very much.
Je suis happy to be here at the MemoQ Fest to represent Consultech and to celebrate 20 years of Consultech today. And uh, so Consultech is uh, a company that develops FlowFit as a project management system for uh, transition departments. And then after a two hour break, ladies and gentlemen, it was time for the gala dinner. We went to the Viga Do, which is a concert hall in Budapest, super fancy and absolutely beautiful. This look at this, this is by far the most beautiful place I've ever been. So thanks again to Memo Fest for opening up the possibility to even go to a place like this. I mean, it was mind blowing really. Just take this in. for traveling and this is what we are getting at Mamoku Fest this year after three years and this alone is enough to celebrate. Then the official part was over and uh, six of the leading people in Mamoku uh, blessed us with beautiful dance performances. I mean look at this footwork from Balash, beautiful. topped by one guy and that is Shandor with an outstanding performance, easily best performance of the night. And it wouldn't stop there, MemoQ certainly knows how to work hard, but definitely knows how to play hard. Everyone joined in with dancing and it became a very nice uh, night all the way until 2am and even longer for some people. Um, unforgettable evening for sure. Gala night is over heading back to the hotel. A few beverages might have been consumed, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm not comfortable filming in public. But there's also no one around now, so that's easier. That was amazing. We saw some great uh, dance moves displayed, very good food, very good drinks, nice music, and uh, great conversations. So now it is 1 a.m. I'm going back to edit this footage of today probably the all night, <laughs> at least until the very early mornings. And then uh, tomorrow is already the last day. Day two started at 9.30. They gave us a 30 minute uh, <laughs> break to start a bit later, but as you will see in a second, it didn't work out for me. Anyways, the program would have been amazing in the morning, um, but the afternoon was more relevant for me. That's where I joined software localization, translating opera, the story behind uh, MemoQ and the user strikes back in the evening. Very looking forward to I'm this one. I'm destroyed. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I really wanted to uh, be there for the last day for the for the opening uh, uh, ceremony or whatever opening session at 9 a.m but i overslept i just woke up at 9 15 so there's no way i could make it so i decided to just you know take it easy uh, you have to listen to the body as well and uh, together with the traveling it was quite a lot this week and the editing and the attending of course and all the social aspects as well so I'm just gonna enjoy my hotel breakfast and uh, be there whenever I be there. I don't have any footage from the first event that I went to on Friday, so this is the second one. Um, Eva is talking about uh, the 
idea and the thought process behind um, marketing MemoQ as a TMS. Then it was time for the very last session of MemoQ Fest 2022, and it was an interesting one, the user strikes back. So we had the two CEOs and two people from, from product management uh, on stage, and the users could ask very critical questions. I've, I've spoken to Peter beforehand, and he said uh, this is the one he's looking forward to, but he's also nervous about. So I want to show you some experts. For example, this gentleman asks a very interesting question about the future of uh, young translators not being able to work in cloud with MemoQ. Prior to MemoQ coming out and saying, look, this is free, everybody was charging, and it, this wasn't the case for other tools. Like, uh, Dragos, who's down the back somewhere, waving his hand, has got a presentation with 67 slides in it, where he's talking about all sorts of other tools that people have, like uh, Adobe tools or whatever, and all of that is free for academic use. We've been very active with that. We go to the ATA, we go to the ATA every year. We get that every so often we need to put more pressure, we need to, to sell better, and, but we, we are doing this. Um, we're happy to expand our base in, in North America. We, we want to to do more and more of that. So that is pretty much it. Uh, I've just left MemoQ Fest at 6 p.m. The last session ended an hour ago and then I had some chats with some people and uh, they actually go to an informal dinner tonight but I will not be joining because I need to edit and tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. I'm leaving already so that would be too much. Uh, but yeah, it was an amazing experience. I, like overall thoughts, I can say this has been extremely well organized. I really enjoyed it, super interesting topics. Uh, a lot of wind, I don't know if you can hear me. Wait, let me go into somewhere. So that should be better. All right, um, yes, I, as I said, uh, uh, excellent organization. I'm, I was very impressed by the whole thing. Uh, the video probably didn't go exactly as I planned. Uh, this was the first time I've, I've ever done anything like this and I have to say it's definitely not easy. So all of these like uh, vloggers that vlog a whole um, conference, I can tell you it's not easy to attend it and then also to film and to network and then editing in the night and then getting up again. So it was exhausting, but I definitely enjoyed it. Thanks again to Memoku for inviting me. As I said earlier, don't forget to, you still have one week to get the Translated Pro Lab pro license for 30% off with the code BAO622 underscore freelancers underscore 30 with all caps and make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram I have never shouted them out because there is nothing on there at the moment but I've just partnered with someone uh, Anita she's called she will basically take over the channel management uh, she will help me out with, with the freelancers I appreciate it a lot she reached out to me and yeah, we're gonna try some promotion in the summer, see how this is going and definitely check the socials out, Twitter and Instagram mainly, and then we will see what, what happens afterwards, but there will be exciting content coming your way. And of course, thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, it's, it's still amazing to me that people actually watch these videos and, and you know, the feedback was so great the whole weekend. Or weekend, it wasn't the weekend. The weekend starts right now. <laughs> I have to actually relax a bit on the weekend. Uh, anyways, that's it from Budapest. Take care, make sure to subscribe and uh, hopefully see you next year at MemoQFest 2023. Bye bye.